Hold on. Just just fished out a book there. All right, let me let me clear some space in my very cramped inventory so I can put this away. Let's put this this away. Now let's sleep for a bit. All right. Aside from the other books I have, I want to see what this is. All right, I wonder what it says in this book. Invitation to Bico SMP. Okay. Hello, everyone, and of course, welcome to Bico SMP. This is a server run by the wonderful Axolotl Music, who is currently down there, probably doing their own intro. And as you saw from that, I'm on a server with some people. Now, I was sort of passively looking for a server to join. I wasn't really like actively like, you know, going on forums all the time. I was just sort of like, you know, if I if I saw something, I, I would probably accept. And I actually got headhunted. So um, if you saw in the comments from a previous video, Axolotl actually approached me and asked if I wanted to join. Of course, I said yes, because I really, really wanted uh, to do a server because for me I really like the social side of Minecraft I like being able to prank on people and it's sort of a pretty fun way of playing the game so with all that said and done I need to go and uh, not have be naked and not have wooden tools so I'm gonna go do some mining and I'll see you back when I've done that all right ladies and gentlemen it's our first iron would you look at that is it how much that is five. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good start. I've barely dug anywhere, so it's pretty good to see. And let's keep going so that we can find our way to more stuff. Hopefully diamonds. Maybe not a lot of them, but should be more than zero would be the ideal amount. And look at that. We found a cave. All right. Well, I don't really need to light these up since it's uh, Mushroom Island, so... I won't really need to worry about being creepered, but they do, they can spawn in caves if it's not in the mushroom island, like right next to it. And because we're sort of on an interesting island, that's a chance that might happen. And I've just realized I haven't actually, uh, yeah, like that. Um, I haven't realized, oh, that's a zombie spawner. Cool. So after a very successful mining expedition, as you can see, we now have an iron pickaxe and we've got plenty more iron smelting away and some in my inventory. Now, I sort of need to explain how this is going to work because, you know, I, I've realized that I sort of skimmed over that in the intro. I didn't really give a great explanation. I think it was more just the opening of the server was what was going on rather than the actual, I guess, explanation of how this is going to work. So, in short, we are here on a mushroom island. This is where all our starter bases will be. This is where everyone is building their funny little things. Over there, just out of render distance, is the shopping district, which is on the Savannah Island. There are also some villagers air there that I believe Axolotl plans to work on, and I sort of intended to do that as well. So we'll see how that goes in the future. So now that we've got that, you've also got to know that out there, there is more terrain that you can't really see because it's just sort of off in the distance, and it's sort of like vanilla, like 1.20 terrain. Now, below here is a stronghold this wasn't actually intended apparently I, I i thought they just knew that and they didn't bother telling everyone but no no there's a there's a stronghold so that's cool um and we will probably be fighting the ender dragon at some point not now of course i mean we're still i'm still getting my first iron so i don't think i'm in any shape to fight the ender dragon but we are starting to work on resources now over there is where axolotl is set up i am set up here so we'll be pretty close. I'm interested to see how that will go. Now, as for my long-term plans, uh, I don't really have anything. I sort of just came in and thought, you know what? I'm going to play some Minecraft. And you know what? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's perfectly fine for me to want to play Minecraft. But I do sort of, want to, sort of want to build a base. Now, I can't really promise it will be like anything beautiful, amazing, and wonderful to see. I, what I can tell you is that it's probably going to be quite functional because I don't really want to spend a lot of time building a base that I'm not going to use. I want to make sure that, you know, every square inch of the base is used for something. And, you know, if that's not the case, I don't really know what to do with myself. So while I'm crafting up this armor, I suppose I'm just going to have to go and do some more mining to get myself some diamonds. I really need diamonds. 
Not exactly how I expected to find my first diamonds, but this is certainly a surprise. So there's sort of this cave, like aquifer area that I just dug into, and I have found this diamond ore. So I'm going to try and build up. Sand, and let's see how many diamonds I get. One. Any others? Another. Uh... Dang, looks just like the one diamond then. Well, that's all right. I'll have to go mining more and just find another, I think. Well, that's normally how it goes, so wish me luck because I really wish I had not discovered this cave system because I do not like deep state. I do not like aquifers. So this is like the worst combination ever. So, yeah. But I'm going to keep looking and hopefully we find some more diamonds. Maybe I'll kill some glow squid as well. That might be a good idea. Okay, uh, literally mined a few blocks in the normal area and almost fell to my death. It looks like other people have been down there, but oh my god, that is a that is a cave. So I'm going to have to take the very, very long path up, get a water bucket, and then we can head down there. Jeez, that scared the life out of me. Just like to take a second to say, just look at the scale of this cave. And I can see some diamonds over there. Well, looks like whoever's been looking around this cave has not been all observant because I would like to very much get some more diamonds so I can start getting some gear and think about not dying all the time because I still haven't died yet and I would love to keep it that way. And there's a spider. Great. Well, let's go get some diamonds and then we can go think about more stuff. So after going around this absolutely massive cave and trying to find some place where there are more diamonds with no luck, I think I've got to admit my mine up there to get down here probably isn't going to be perfect. And in all honesty, I am going to need to do some branch mining. So it then leads me to think, well, whereabouts... If I'm using coordinates, would my base come down? And I think if I go over here somewhere, this will more or less be right above where my current area is. And while the free cam does have like, it can't go through walls right now, as you can see, I, I can get it back up to the surface and I'll try to locate more or less about 9171288. Yeah, so about here in the rock is about where my base is. So what I want to do is I'm going to go all the way back up, back up to my base. I'm going to make a ladder and make a bunch of ladders and then I'm going to make a drop shoot down here and then a way back up there. Now, in order to make this really fast, I would need to get some soul sand and getting to the nether is one of my priorities. However, at the moment, I... There is some lava, but I need to go get some stuff. So I'm going to go back to the base and I see you guys in a bit. I was in the middle of mining these and I just thought, you know, it'd be a really good idea just to like <laughs> record this. Uh, Axolotl over there has just given me four diamond, uh, deep slate diamond ore veins for me to use for my uh, tools. That's, that's really nice of them. So yeah, I can finally make a diamond pickaxe and stop worrying about Having to mine deep state because it is so annoying. I don't know how many of you have played in a new world, but iron pickaxes, they are not good for mining deep slate. You need diamond pickaxes, which is why I feel like a lot of the early game stuff, especially in later updates, is not very good. So with all that said and done, I am going to, of course, make a mine and then I'm going to be able to get more diamonds. However, I do believe Axolotl would like to make an XP grinder considering they're at that stage in the game. And I think that might be a good idea to go ask them about if they want to do that. I'm about halfway through like mining after making a tunnel to go all the way down to Y-58 where the diamonds are best. And I've just realized 
I don't need to do this. I was given the diamonds for a diamond pickaxe. All I need to do now is figure out how to get level 30. Now, there is a zombie spawner, as you saw earlier, and I did promise to work on it with axolotl. So I'm going to take the very, very long ride up here, and I need to go to the nether just to get some to get some soul sand so that we can, of course, make uh, as an elevator so you can just punch the zombies to kill them. Now, that's not going to be so easy because, you see, the nether early game it is pretty dangerous and I don't have a lot of stuff, so this could end in disaster. I mean, I have enough iron so that it won't really be, like, amazingly horrible if I do die and lose all my stuff because most of it is iron anyway but I would really like to not lose that diamond pickaxe so I'm probably going to take some safety precautions when doing this and we'll see how it goes I am all ready I've got some blocks I've got some torches and I've got some way of knowing how to get home so let's head in why is this portal three blocks four blocks tall right and Straight away, we are in a bad spawn, so I'm just going to use some time to make it a little bit safer. First off, I do not see any signs. So there's magma down there. I don't really see any soul sand. Okay, right. I am going to take a moment and use my hoe. I've just got to figure out how to set up a safe path through the nether so that I can go and get all the stuff I need walks away right I'm gonna grab some of this warped wood add some safety stuff so that we don't die instantly like this oh I forgot how fast lava pours okay right we should be good from here right I just need to Bridge over to another biome where there's a better chance of there being some soul sand. So, I'm going to do that. Yeah, those nether pigs are not very nice. That one just bopped me straight into the lava. Oh, well, that's, that's why we went with all the stuff that I had. Because I knew that would probably happen and... Okay, I would have been okay, I think, but I definitely did not want to... Uh, I definitely did not want to risk anything, so... Yeah, I, I'm all good. I will get a bow, and we'll deal with those guys. With a fire of revenge, I head back into the nether. Let's see how long it takes for me to die this time. First things first, I'm gonna pillar up, so the stupid idiots can't get me. Kill them with my arrows. Please push each other over the edge. That would be really funny. Oh, I, I can't afford to waste these arrows. I only have two left. Well, okay. I'm building a bridge so I can cross this treacherous wasteland and get myself some soul sand. Normally, my nether spawns are slightly less atrocious and make it a lot easier than it's this nether spawn is trying to make itself out to be so yeah lots of building to try and stop mobs from eating my face especially the babies i i don't i don't want to i don't even have a sword so i can't really like melee them okay i should be safe from them now i'm gonna grab this nether quartz and we're gonna continue our quest for soul sand all right, second time's the charm. Managed to get all of my nether stuff that I need, plus some extra. I've got about a stack of magma blocks, stack of soul sand. Should be all good and never have to go there ever again. Right, now what I want to do is I want to make a soul sand elevator going from down there all the way up here so that I don't have to take the million year... so that I don't have to take the million year ladder ride it is to get up. So... That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut away and do that off camera and I, I'll see you in a bit, I guess. All right, I've set the tube to go all the way up to the surface. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out this, do that, and that should become a bubble stream. And now all the way up, it should send me. If I go in here, it will head me head all the way up to the top. 
So this is my way of getting up and down from the mine. Uh, and now I need to go do the other thing, which is the mob grinder. But Axolotl has gone to work and that means I'm probably going to have to wait for a little bit before I do anything with that. So I suppose I will see you tomorrow when I have rested and we are ready to do that. So I'm here with Axolotl and we have decided that since there is a zombie spawner somewhere under this little peninsula here, we're going to be making a farm so that we can get a bunch of XP so that I have I don't have to spend ages fishing to get all my levels. So if you want to follow me, I'll just show you to where the spawner is. We have a zombie spawner and I've already started uh, knocking out the walls. So we need to dig this out, go down a bit, then connect some bubble vators up and get a killing area. And then we can have a bunch of free rotten flesh and experience. After that little uh, interaction with Axolotl, we've now done a tiny bit more work and it's looking more or less the same as you probably saw it at the end of that clip. We've got these two bubble vator, this drop shoot so I can go all the way down from the surface up there. They did mention that they wanted to sort of decorate it to sort of match the theme that was going on and I've also come in and installed a little enchanting setup so I can get my level 13 enchantments as you can see here. So. I haven't really done much. I think what I'm going to be doing for the most part is just getting levels because I'll need a lot of them so I can do all of the stuff for getting, like, of course, enchantments and getting more diamonds because that's what I want to do for the rest of this episode. And in order to do that, I need uh, fortune. So it's going to be a bit of a grind to get that, but hopefully it should go all well and I'll see you guys when I'm getting my first enchantment. Right, I'm up to level 30. I'm going to grab my lapis. I'm going to go over to the enchanting table and we're going to see what we are getting. Hopefully it is, of course, fortune. It's efficiency four. I'm going to go for it. Ah, damn, just efficiency four. Okay, well, I suppose that's not the end of the world. I can just, uh, I guess, grindstone it, re-roll again. I'll check with this iron pickaxe. Okay, it's fortune two. I probably want to go for that, so I'll be re-rolling my enchants, going over here, getting some levels, going, uh, doing other things, fishing, for instance, trying to just get my levels all the way up. So this is going to be a bit of a grind off camera, and I guess I'll see you when I'm done with that. Right, so at long last, after a bunch of grinding and work and going and doing shenanigans, I went and... Did a tiny bit of surface mining to get some copper because this area was generating 1.16 so it doesn't have any natural copper. So I now have a fortune 2 pickaxe. It's not fortune 3 but you know what I'll take it. I can always upgrade to fortune 3 later on. I'm just stashing stuff away from a little adventure I went out and died on. And then I think I'm going to do a bunch of mining because I want to use the pickaxe and I need a bunch of resources. So I think it's time to hit the strip mine and get some diamonds. I've made the executive decision to put some diamond armor in. Now that I went and did some mining, I got some diamonds, and now I can feel ever so slightly safer. I'm keeping the gold helmet on for now, just in case I ever go and do nether shenanigans, which require me to get... Well, I need the gold helmet so the piglins don't get mad, so that's the main reason for having that. But... Now that I've got all the stuff I need to actually start doing things, as you can see, I've got pretty much everything you'll need to start in a Minecraft world. Uh, I should build my starter house, and it's going to go right here. It's not going to be particularly big, but it does require some blue wool, as you can see over there. So I think there's no better time to get into a time lapse than now, and let's start seeing how this house is going to look. All right, here's 28 seconds of me talking over me building this build because I forgot to get some music and also because the time lapse is really short. Oh, look, some terraforming. Oh, look at some blue wool. Here we go. I'm probably going to be adding this next side to it now. Oh, well, look at that lovely spruce wood that I spent far too long trying to get. And look at that spruce sapling in the corner that's about to despawn that I'm going to get sad about in a bit. Oh, look, I've added some more space because I've realized I was stupid when doing this. And oh, no, the time lapse is over. So after that time lapse, you can see that the campfire has been set up and I now have a place to rest my head that is not out in the open. I haven't moved all of my chests into here yet. Uh, I'm not quite sure on storage. I think I might want to build another tent 
to put all of my items because I'm quickly outgrowing even this tiny area's storage, especially with everything I have at the moment. But I think for what we've got here for episode one, I'd say we're doing pretty good. And I don't know how much time this is going to have on the timeline. So I'm probably going to have to call the video here because I want to make sure this is all ready and done. And I don't have like a million years of a video to make. So thank you so very much for watching this. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. You can pretty much guarantee that there will be more than one episode of this season coming from me. And I have a lot of plans. I have some ideas. Actually, no, that's a lie. I don't have any plans, but I am very, very excited nonetheless to be playing on a server with people. And I am very, very excited to get up to a bunch of shenanigans. So I suppose I'll be all I've got to say now is I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.